Welcome back to Hell to Authority. Now there's a lot of different reasons why apps could end up crashing on your Android device. So today we'll be taking you through all of the basic troubleshooting steps you can take to see if maybe they will solve the issue for you. If not, maybe the app itself is just buggy and requires an update from the side of the developers. But in the meantime, there are at least a couple of things you can try. Well, the first thing you want to do is check your internet connection by just trying to search anything online and seeing if that all works properly. If not, you can try a different Wi-Fi network or switching over to just your phone's data if you're not on that already, or then vice versa and switching to Wi-Fi instead. By also going into your phone's settings and then into storage, you can see if you actually have enough space left for the device to function properly. If you have pretty much all of your internal storage already used up, you may want to delete some stuff in order to give an app some breathing room and to make sure it has enough space for everything it needs. Another thing you can do is check the app's permissions to see if there's maybe something that it's lacking that it requires to function properly. So you want to go into settings, then apps, then see all apps, and then go onto the app you're having issues with. From there, you want to click on permissions and see if there's anything out of the ordinary there. If it's, for example, missing a crucial permission, you may want to add it, or if it has a permission it really shouldn't have, you can get rid of that as well to make sure that everything is in order over there. But okay, what if it's still not working? What else can you do? You can also force stop the app by once again going into the apps list, selecting the app in question, and then going on to force stop. Another thing you can try and do is clear out the cache of the app and see if that helps. Select the app you're having issues with, and and tap on clear cache. If it started happening after an update, well it could be that it just messed up the app for you, so you can actually roll back and uninstall updates very easily. By once again going into an app list, by clicking on the three dots in the top right, you'll be able to uninstall recent updates, which could once again solve the issue for you. And finally, if all of that doesn't help, maybe it's just the operating system of your phone itself that needs to be updated. So if you go into settings, you'll be able to find any new updates right then and there and install them as well. You can also just restart the device itself by holding down the power button and then pressing restart and see if maybe that solves the issue. If not, there's a couple of more things you can try, so don't worry just yet. For example, you can just uninstall and reinstall the app via the Play Store. If that still doesn't help, you can also boot your phone in safe mode, which basically just launches the device with less of, well, pretty much everything running in the background to see if maybe there's some incompatibility there. The way you do that is that once you power off the device, you want to once again turn it on by holding down on the power button and then also pressing down on the volume button. And once you do that, the phone will actually reboot in safe mode and you can see if that finally fixes that for you. So those are all of the basic troubleshooting steps you can take. If you're still having issues you can also get in touch with the support of the app in question to see if maybe they have anything else specific to that application. But in the meantime that's pretty much everything we can suggest for most apps in general. So if you found this video helpful then maybe subscribe to How to Authority for more like this in the future.